If you've gone to our town hall meetings here, I've met a friend of mine, a brother from another mother. I'm Rod Weber, an artist and filmmaker. I began giving Flowers for Peace as a way to make a positive impact on the world. Suddenly, the internet had found out, and there were flower beard tributes and fan drawings, and even my image burned on a piece of toast. So, why not harness this positive energy and bring a flower for peace to all the presidential candidates to see if I could have a positive effect on the election? This is my friend Rod. He comes to a lot of events. I was freeing hearts and minds one flower at a time. Sadly, Trump wasn't having it. I witnessed an assault upon peace activist Rob Weber. Oh! It, it scares people. They might think that they're free, but when they see an actual free individual, it scares them. Rod Weber was there. You see what he's gotten written on his very dirty undershirt? It says, love is the answer. Get him out! Trump's hateful claims channeled a dark energy sparking violence in some and outrage in others. All lives Black matter. Lives Matter is a fake movement. All Lives Matter in response to Black Lives Matter oh and the gates that is saying Black Lives Matter too. Why did you choose to do that? A lot of other people just kept silent. You got a bad witness. Bear witness. Bear witness. So I bear witness and kept giving out flowers, but in this new America, a flower was a dangerous concept as the FBI sought new scapegoats. We face the prospect of terrorist-directed attacks, terrorist-inspired attacks. How do you distinguish protesters and actual terror? The threat from these fringe groups of domestic terrorism. Giving out flowers and hugs got me on a terrorist watch list and an FBI raid with guns out and no warrants. It's terrifying, and you would think that we're, you know, some kind of drug-dealing cartel. You know, I'm not gonna tell you again. Officers actually entered the home with weapons drawn. Woke up to a pistol in my face held by a plain closed officer. They were all over the place. It's intimidating. I'm just in utter shock right now. They're kicking down the door in Kevlar vests. Looks no different than a night raid in Fallujah. When the government sees its people as a danger, you've got to fight for peace. The question is, why is peace such a danger? It is noble to seek the office of overseer. However, he who does should be above reproach, sober-minded, only married once, and not a great lover of money. Am, am I in trouble? What am say I you? Am I in trouble? And will you take a flower for peace?